Hi guys, Colleen here with a glue book process uh, video. Um, I asked on my Facebook group um, what the members would like to see in the next video and they wanted me to um, do a spread with just my from my scrap box. So I do have a video that shows my scrap box um, and it's actually fuller now than it was when I showed the video. Um, so what I've done is I've just pulled out um, some bits and bobs that were in my scrap box. So you've got cutoffs of things I've used. Um, that was a wee letter that came with an order. Got a bit of lace off cuts, some leftover stickers, um, cardstock, that was a printable kit that's just left over, some magazine paper, uh, scrapbook paper, that was a printable, printable, and I just pulled out this that wee uh, paint chip card thing. So, this is my page. Um, I really don't like the white off the page. Um, so first thing I might do is to possibly cover that up a little bit. Um, as much as I can maybe. Okay, so those all look colours go quite well. Um, let's see where my glue is. Yep, so I will leave the link um, to the Facebook group. There are a good handful of freebies now, little printable kits that I've made up um, for Facebook members to use. And there's quite a few of us over there now and we're starting to share work and or not work but you know what I mean work in progress and glue book spreads and next month um I might try a challenge possibly. Um and see how that goes. Lovely group of people. Now, so that sort of takes that stark whiteness of the page away. And then I was thinking of maybe some florals. This is um, a page out of Daphne's diary. That's one of my favourite um, magazines. I don't know if I want all of that. Um, and it's got that cute little bike down there. Um, some music paper. This was quite cute to make a wish. Some more florals there, some wallpaper. Let's see. Um, that would be quite nice along the top. Um, I don't think I want all of this. Um, making a wish. <laughs> Maybe they're wishing for a bike. Um, and then I've got just 
tearing this um, the floor out. So I'm hoping to get another freebie done today. Didn't do one yesterday. Um, did one the day before. Now, let's see. So we've got some florals. I think we need a butterfly of some description. Okay, so we'll have that little blue butterfly quite possibly would go well with the colours I do have scissors with me I'm just <laughs> ripping out today seems to be the look I'm going for so here that goes with the theme of Make-A-Wish. I really like this telegram bit along the top of that, but I don't think that goes either. Got some more butterflies. Um, too straight. thing too that would be good to put the date on actually um ooh, it could be like a magic bike you know like an et quite possibly you'd have it doing that um what have we got here I'm going to stick down what I have here um, and then see what it looks like. Just move these scraps out of the way. Usually when I'm doing um, a page from my scrap pile, I will pull out some bits and bobs and then I'll <laughs> spend ages going through looking for other bits and bobs that go with them. This video would have been way too long. So that's why... I picked some bits out beforehand so that at least didn't have to sit and watch me go through my scrap um, stuff over and over. Just trying to think it's maybe too too straight there. It's our little bike. And I keep the smallest of scraps. I don't know. I just don't know about your scrap box. I know some people throw everything out. And then there's other people like me. And they keep even the tiniest wee bit. And I just can't seem to stop myself doing that. But sure. It will come in handy at some point. I would say. As I said um, in one of my other videos, no right and wrong way to do a glue book, just your way. Just what looks good to you. Okay. So, I do think we need something here, but I'm not sure what we might need there. I do another do another floral or we could add in some of the these florals here it's really pretty um little the apple blossoms quite possibly put some of those in um those ones are quite nice there too. Yep, so 
no rhyme nor reason. Yes, what looks pretty. So when you use, I use a lot of digital kits, um, also magazines. When you use a digital kit, a lot of the time you will have um, bits left over. And I never throw those away. Always keep them in my scrap box. I think we might need a butterfly for there. Possibly. There's that wee tiny green one. Which I don't trust. myself cutting out or ripping out right in the centre of that. I've got glue over my fingers now. As you always do when you're doing glue book bits. I think I'm gonna pop him in there. Try and get the glue off my fingers. And then all I need to do is add the date, which I actually can't remember if it's the 8th today or the 9th. So I'll do that later. I did bring a pencil somewhere. I did bring a pencil and then I forgot to look up the date. So that is my glue book spread for today. Just using scraps from my scrap box. Um, if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you consider subscribing that'd be even better and I'll see you next time. Bye!